know what I'm saying? So I see a truck driver on the other side of this empty space and I go to his truck. Like I go knock on his door, you know what I'm saying? Now he's an Asian, a, a dark little Asian man, okay? Like fat, fat ass Asian man, okay? So I'm like talking to him, but like he look like he really not trying to pay attention to me. And he, and then he gonna lean over and say, I bless me, yo. I looked at him and I said, you don't speak Spanish. I know you don't speak Spanish. I know you speak English. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. And then he gonna lean over and say, Habla Espanol. I looked at him and I said, You don't speak Spanish. I know you don't speak Spanish. I know you speak English. Male truckers piss me off. So before we jump into this clip right quick, man, because this little video right here, this little TikTok trucker right here, this particular video been getting a lot of flack on TikTok. And, uh, and yeah, it got like 70, about 74K views so far and a whole lot of stitches. We, we got, we got, uh, we got one from a popular TikToker. Uh, I will be playing that later on. This young lady, you know, is, is talking hella disrespectful. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Let me tell y'all dusty ass man truck driver something. Okay. The world is evolving. Trucking is evolving, okay? This is not back in the day where it's just male truckers. It's female truckers out here too. Y'all really starting to piss me the fuck off with this shit. So I got really two story times, okay? But I'm gonna just tell y'all one. If y'all wanna hear the other one, I'll do that later. Let me know if y'all want it. But let me tell y'all why I'm so fucking mad right now. I, I, I just wanna stop right here because the, 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 the truckers on TikTok TikTok in general with these story times and they break them apart. Like if you want to part one, two, three, four, or five, why not just come over to YouTube and just make a whole video? You know, why don't you just make a whole video, explain it on YouTube and then break it apart on TikTok. Why, why do we got to wait for like two, three, four, five days for the, for the next part of, of this story? I don't get it. That's that's so irritating to me. But let's continue. I'm mad because I'm at this pilot. I'm over here in Mississippi. I'm at this pilot. This pilot is small. So a lot of truck drivers don't really know how to drive, right? It really ain't that good at back end. So last time I was here, somebody hit my shit while I was asleep, okay? They drove out before I could get up and get out and get that information. So guess who had to pay a thousand dollars? Me, right? So I came to this truck place because this is the closest place i'm a lease operator i pay for my own fuel i'm not gonna go 30 miles out the way and i'm just trying to get a shower and park right quick so y'all i'm already fucking iffy to be here right so i park right i park and i get my shower ready get my stuff ready so i get out of my truck and i there's a space literally next to me on the right side the same exact spot where i got hit at not the same exact spot but you know i got hit on that side so i'm not trying to wait i'm trying to get in and get out you know what i'm saying so i see a truck driver on the other side of this empty space and i go to his truck like i go knock on his door you know what i'm saying now he's an asian a, a dark little asian man okay like fat fat ass asian man okay so i'm like talking to him but like he look like he really not trying to pay attention to me and he's and then he gonna lean over and say i bless asked me yo i looked at him and i said you don't speak spanish i know you don't speak spanish i know you speak english this is my truck right here i'm a truck driver so i don't know what the fuck you think this is so then he leans up and he's like oh you drive for prom yeah so then he was like i'm sorry i i'm married i really like people be coming and ask me stuff okay i get that shit but my nigga come on be fucking for real how many times do somebody come up to your truck be fucking for real so i asked him i'm like can you watch my fucking truck because a lot of people when this bitch hit and i got hit here last time so i just need you to watch my fucking truck I'm tripping because look, I literally just had to get out because look how close. Ah! So it just be too fucking close, you know what I'm saying? Now I don't even remember what what I was saying, where I was at in the story or whatever. But moral of the story: don't disrespect female truckers, bro. It's not just men truckers anymore. This is not back in the day. It's a new day. Y'all know it's a lot of female truckers now. Stop trying us, like for real. At this point, it's getting real disrespectful. Real disrespect. I can't even believe, like. I'm not giving up no nookie just for fun. Are you dumb? Are you dumb? It's bad, bruh. And then it just like, really? You really just asked me that. Like, this the second time that this shit done happened though. Like, stop playing with us. Y'all be dusty as hell. Stop playing. Stop playing. All right, guys, you heard it for yourself. So I, I don't know what to say. I, I, I think this um rambling right here 
really don't have no merit. Like, and it's this is just my opinion. I'm I'm not trying to be mean or anything like that, but I'm just I'm just going off of this little rant that this young lady says. Now, when I first saw her, I kind of you know gave it a little uh, a, a little bit of a view because she's a female trucker out here. She got her kids on the truck. She's out here trucking, taking care of her kids and everything, and I give her that. But then when I came across this video, and I just listened to it, and I I, I hear a freaking 10-year-old just, just running off at the mouth, just saying anything just to be heard. I mean, do you guys feel that? I mean, it's a lot to unpackage. So let's just take this bit by bit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You know, this is, excuse me, a damn fine cup of coffee. I've had, I can't tell you how many cups of coffee in my life, and this, this is one of the best. You're exactly right. It, it is. Trucking has evolved to where it is today. Because back then, there wasn't that very many women that's in the industry. Maybe, maybe a handful. But you got to understand, like women back then, you know, they was, they, they, they was trying to make a, 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 a step. Um, try, try to make a point in the trucking world that this is dominated by men but we can do it too but my girl why why do we got to be dusty though i mean dusty like all of us is not dusty out here that's why i started off with the comments first because all of us is not dusty out here and that's why because because of you or female truckers like you is the reason why we don't do nothing for y'all. I mean, y'all, you be the same one out here that be asking for help if you need it and get mad when nobody don't give you the help. Okay, so you've been at this pilot before. So obviously you had your you had the problem. Somebody hit your truck. You wasn't able to catch them because, you know, you were sleeping and everything. And that's understandable. You know, you had to, you had to get up, throw your stuff on and all like that. And by the time you got outside, you know, they was gone in the wind. So you being, you know, a lease op, you're responsible for all damages to the truck. So if the truck get torn up, it has to come out of your pocket. But you've been at this pilot before and you had that situation. But yet you're going to go back to that pilot after you said you was already hit at that pilot and you said that nobody don't know how to back then why go back to that pilot? Why go back to the place where you had a problem at before? Now, maybe if you was there during the day, maybe, but at night, you know at night it gets tumultuous there. Why, why even bother? Why even bother? Then you said in another breath that you're not gonna go like 30 miles down the way to get some fuel, whatever, whatever. But 30 miles ain't nothing but 30 minutes. If that pilot that you parked at before gave you a problem, then why not go the extra 30 miles to another truck stop where you might be a little bit more comfortable at? I, I, I talked about this before, Drop it. right? And I, I, I even I even spoke, in, spoke about it in the last video, uh, the last video where the young lady had to wait for her food why do you guys always have to bring race into a story? Why? Couldn't you just say he was uh, a, a little guy, a, 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 a male trucker? No, you had to emphasize the fact that he was a short, little, fat Asian man. All in one breath. All in one breath, you know? Couldn't you just say that he was like a short little man, a short little trucker? No. 
I'm I'm curious to know because it's like every time people tell stories, and so far it's coming from it's coming from the females. They always got to emphasize the race. Like the one story when a young lady was talking about her mom's uh, coffee fail or something like that. She had to emphasize the white guy talking to a black woman. And then, of course, the last video where the, the young lady was waiting for her food. Three white guys. Drop it. You know, and now here you are. An Asian, a, a short, little, fat Asian man. And then you're going to get mad at the man because he talked to you in, in, in his native tongue. Now, you, you already said you walked up to the door. You knocked on the door. The man don't know you from spit. He don't even know what you are or nothing. So I, I, I'm sure I, he, t he looked at you like, yeah, no espléon. Yeah, no, no speak English. He don't, he don't know if you're a, 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 a female of the night, lot lizard or whatever. And then you're going to turn around and say, y'all, uh, I know you speak English. I'm a truck driver. I didn't know that. I didn't know you was a truck driver. I mean, you, you look like some random chick in probably a form fitting outfit, probably what you got on. You know, showing, you know, showing a little bit more than than what you need to be showing at nighttime. You knock on the dude's door. He's looking down at you like. OK, no, nah, I'm, I'm cool. And then you're going to get mad at him. You're going to get mad at him. And you're going to turn around and tell him I'm a truck driver. I'm, I'm, I'm the female truck driver next to you. Oh. Okay, so you drive for Prime. Okay. What do you want? What's up? I need you to watch my truck. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Back up, back up, back up. First, you're gonna, you're gonna call me out of my name. I'm a short, little, fat Asian man. Then you're gonna get mad at me because I hit you with my native tongue. And then you're gonna turn around and ask me for a favor? Wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, this is, excuse me, a damn fine cup of coffee. I've had, I can't tell you how many cups of coffee in my life, and this, this is one of the best. What is this? I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to go in on you, little lady. I'm, I'm really not. I'm, I'm going by the video that I saw and trying to analyze the video. Because as the dude was sitting in the truck, he don't, again, he don't know you from Adam. So he don't even know what's going on, whether you wanted him to watch the truck or whatever. But wait, didn't you say you're a lease operator for Prime? And you need somebody to watch your truck? Why should I watch your truck for? It's, it's not my responsibility to watch your truck. It's your responsibility to make sure you have a dash camera or whatever you need to, you know, to, to watch your truck to see what will happen to your truck while you're away from it? But I'm just saying, if you probably would have came to him a little bit nicer and probably started the conversation off by saying, "Hey, I'm the I'm the truck I'm the prime truck driver next to you, sir. Um, is it all right that you know you could peep out my truck for about 10, 15 minutes? I'm just going in there to catch a shot. Now, you know, obviously, you know, you probably get bothered all the time, and he even apologized to her. Like, you know, my bad, I, you know, I get, you know, I park here all the time and females come up to my truck all the time and I, I don't know what to inspect. Now, you know, the part where she says, you know, stop trying us, you know, it's female truckers out here now. And then she's going to turn around and say, don't disrespect us. But didn't you just disrespect him? Like you just went on a whole rant disrespecting the guy. And then you're going to turn around and say the moral of the story is don't disrespect us. But you just you you just made a three minute video disrespecting this dude. And to be honest with you guys, 
I really, really didn't hear no disrespect coming from the guy. I really didn't. All the disrespect came from this young lady right here in this three minute video. Like he honestly didn't really do nothing wrong. So I don't even understand the merits of her rant in this video. But last bit of the video where she turns around and says, yo, I'm not giving up the nookie or anything like that. Nobody ain't expecting you to, right? But then again, when you are random female, probably dress the way you dress at night, walk up to the dude. You said in a later video that, that he was, uh, that the window was down and he was in the front seat. So he sees you coming over to the truck. You're still looking random to him. So he don't know if you giving up any nookie or, or anything for that matter. Stop disrespecting us. Well, <laughs> We're not, we're, we're not trying to disrespect you, ladies. We, we me, I respect you guys. Y'all, y'all, y'all the best. I, I love, I love me some ladies, man. I'm, I'm a ladies man, so I love me some ladies. But for real, bro, on the, on the real, uh, the, the female truckers of this generation, these new, uh, these new modern female truckers, I'm not trying to mess with y'all. I'm not, because. Here's proof right here of a reason why we don't mess with y'all. Let me tell y'all dusty ass men truck driver something, okay? The world... Okay, so before I get started, the only reason I'm responding to this video because I was tagged in it multiple times and I felt like it was very disrespectful in my opinion. That's just my opinion. Everybody got a right to their opinion like an asshole, okay? But for one, when it comes down to women are getting this in this world of trucking, right? But before we got here, these men was holding down, 10 toes down, all right? And they opened up the door to let us in. They are accepting us. Now, some places you do go to, they are disrespectful. But for the most part, these men are accepting us with open arms. And the next thing, when it comes down, that's your truck. Didn't you say you're an operator? That's your shit. You got to protect your own shit. You got to make sure don't nobody touch your stuff. You got to make sure you good and your truck is good. That's your responsibility. Nobody else is responsible for that truck other than you. You the driver. You the captain. You are the person behind that stand wheel. So don't be expected for nobody else to do nothing for that truck other than you take care of it. Ten toes down. The next thing. When it come down to you getting out, walking up to somebody else's truck, hold up. No, you don't know that man. Don't know if you a lot lizard. He don't know if you dare to harm him, try to steal from him, try to rob him, anything. So don't be expecting for the, hey, how you doing? No, because they don't know what to expect. We are still new to the trucking world as far as the women getting into this to this field you get what i'm saying so they're used to lot lizards coming to their door they're used to people lot lizards coming to rob them and steal from them or people stealing their gas you never know and then another thing you said that you already was iffy about parking here if you're already iffy about a place to park stop go somewhere else it don't matter if it's 30 minutes down the road it don't matter if you're out of time you go somewhere else to park because your safety is everything on the road so i wouldn't even park there if you already felt a little unease of being there the next thing don't expect nobody to do nothing for you as a woman on this road when you out here on the road you gotta have big girl pennies on and get ready for whatever because they don't give a dog on about you you, you gotta care about you you gotta make sure you good so don't get offended when somebody else is not responding to you in the way you thinking because you're a female they don't care about us being females we gotta be strong out here because we gotta represent for the females that's coming behind us so this video right here was not a good light in my opinion and it was not a good it was not a good way to put us females out there when i'm out here on the road i'm 10 toes down holding my own because I got to make it home. I don't care about nobody else. I don't see nobody else. I'm just worried about me and my money and getting my load to where it got to be. It's Trucker's Life, baby. I hope you don't get offended. But if you do, you'll be all right. Have a good day. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Drop it. You know, this is, excuse me. A damn fine cup of coffee. I've had, I can't tell you how many cups of coffee in my life, and this, this is one of the best. 
<laughs> you'll be all right. <laughs> you'll be all right. Clarissa Rankin on the check-in, man. She's fats, all fats in that video. I have, I uh, listen. I, I I don't have no. I don't have no speak on that. Everything she said in that video was 100%. And if you guys don't agree, I don't know what to tell you. Drop it. I don't know what to tell you, man. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, the young lady uh, was just very uh, off keel, very disrespectful. And, and it wasn't a good look for her or anybody else or any other females that she's trying to represent. You know, right here, Clarissa, like, no, you're not representing me because I, I know what's up. I know what's up. See, this, you know, the 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 first female, she must be a new driver. I mean, she must, she she must have just got into the industry and don't know, uh, don't know what what's going on. Salute to Clarissa Rankin for this uh for this response right here, because it's all facts. Drivers. <laughs> I, I know y'all got some opinions. Let it rip in the comments below. I'm like Beethoven with the bass on it. Me, class kids, a went pop. Death to the head, it won't stop. Let's talk key scales, it won't drop. You don't even need a scale to know I'm on top. Me and Mozart, bars, you got pops. Urge red and Tiffany, a whole symphony. You a symptom to me, but go off. Or make a masterpiece for you, or at least it's gonna hit like rump, bump, bump. Yellow fit to me like the symphony. Your career's done, done, done.